So we have come to a, a secluded location. Let's have a quick pan to test out and well not to test out but to tell you about the Motolug trailer which is what you see before you. Now this is their two bike TE trailer, the, the top of the range trailer they do. I thought if I'm going to have a trailer I need to be able to carry two bikes because you know it may be my bike and Womble's bike I want to transport or transport the supermoto and the blade for track days. So this is this is the ultimate in track day modular trailers. The thing which makes this so special is it can be disassembled, reassembled without the use of any tools. So it's all done by split pins, pushed through and locking pins on the other side. So this means I can literally take this trailer apart in about 10 minutes. I can store it in the loft space within my garage uh, until I need it again. I've not got a trailer which is sat out down the side of the house going rusty you know, under a couple of tarps. I've assembled this on my own now um, three times and I've got it down to about 10-15 minutes to assemble it from scratch. It's very very straightforward once you've done it a couple of times. Some of it is quite heavy. The use of a little scissor jack just to lift it to put the wheels in and out is recommended. It makes it very easy. Here's me and Womble putting this trailer together for the first time. So what do we have to start with? The, uh, these two metal bits these here. Two metal bits here. Yeah, they're quite substantial aren't they? Right, I'm need a pin or some. The small pin. Locking pin on the back. And then these metal things. Not that way up? Yeah, uh, yeah. Right, we lift that there. back end. Bring it so it sits on, so that sits right in the centre. I'll push it in, so you want to put it in that hole. Don't go that far though. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm working with amateurs here. <laughs> Open that, that goes down. So we're going to go for the two bike configuration. This is the two bike configuration first of all. No, that's too big. That that pin. We're seeing how simple it is by actually not really looking at the instruction. <laughs> we'll wing it. Right, that's that. That's heavy duty. Try up some of these. Yeah, it's not the other way, look. It's a blind leading the blind. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Oh, that's one. one. There's a... Okay. Swivel. I think it would, wouldn't you? No, swivel's here. Oh, right. This that's if you've got your single bike trailer mode. Right. Because that's a bit of the tow which goes on the single one. Nice. Then wheels on, I reckon now. Comes together pretty quick, doesn't it? Time for a sip of tea, mate. Cold tea. That's cold. Got my arse, Shannon. Can't show his face, but his crack's fair game. You got it. Wheels in there, pin through. And I guess it's these are adjustable, so it depends on your bike, I'm guessing, as well. Yeah. So depending on your wheel size. Oh, no, where are these bits? The wheel? No, they go there, don't they? Yeah, they go here. Those little clips here, look. I think they're to help put straps around on the front wheel, maybe. Oh, yeah, no. Why not? There it is. You're going to use it instead of those. Well, they're all, they're everything, aren't they? Yeah. It goes in the middle, does it in the middle? Yeah. That's what these are for something. We need this as well because that braces it across the middle. That's the last two pins. I'm going to let the chops sort it for you. Can they find the hole? You always had that problem, don't you? I'd love another cup of tea, yes, please. Thank you. I'll tell you what, a bit will tell us in the instructions. It's here, look, it must be. Each side runs separately that goes in here, clips in here. Oh, uh, this is done. Spilled two in the instructions. That's not enough, though. Is that not going to be long enough, though?
as you've probably noticed with this, it doesn't have a jockey wheel. So you think, well, obviously you need a ramp to get the bikes on and off. No, you don't. This trailer has an absolutely fantastic little feature with these little pins and different locating lugs here. And you can actually raise the trailer to bring the bikes on and off. So let me give you a demonstration. So basically, these pins over here come with a little locking, a little quick release system. Yeah, take off the locking pin, slide out this pin, like so. And you've got these little pull pins here, which have these inner pins. So if you grab the trailer here, pull these pins in. Now with two bikes on, two heavy bikes on this, you do have to give it a bit of a tug. And there we are in the upper position. So now you can actually roll those bikes straight off of the trailer. <laughs> How nice is that? Makes unloading and loading absolute breeze. One of the big concerns I had about having a modular trailer is what does it actually ride like? What does it actually drive like when you've got this thing behind you? Because it's held together with split pins and uh, you know it's all modular in the way it connects together i was concerned that there might be excessive movement when the bikes are on it and when the trailer's moving around and the answer is it actually rides exceptionally well much better than i ever thought it would do and actually much better to a lot of conventional trailers i've tried i've got two bikes on the back now and I don't know if you can see how much movement there is, but they are actually held in extremely solidly. I think because of the way the strapping system works, where the bikes are tied from sort of the front and back, tied down to the middle, and because the chocks at the front that the bike pushes into are so solid, what you actually have is uh, an incredible, an incredibly uh, solid mounting, and they really do not move around much at all. They really do not move very much at all. So when it comes to actually pulling the bikes and riding them, absolutely fantastic. Cannot be faulted. Well, no review of the Motorlug dual trailer will be complete without showing you the single version. And here it is. This is the trailer built up as a single. I mean, it's really quick to build as a single. It literally took me under 10 minutes to build this up. It uses exactly the same parts as the double, obviously, but only one of the runners and one of the extension pieces in the middle. So if you actually buy the single bike trailer, they do an upgrade kit, so you can upgrade it to the double version. But obviously that the TE dual bike version comes so you can build it as a single or a double. I love the way the lighting system works on these where you simply clip these boards on the back now these are made of aluminium they do flap around a little bit but they're not structural um, so if you hear noises when you're running it's normally just these flapping a little bit but the lights the way they clip into the actual runners all the way along it's uh, it's again it's a very well thought out system Another great thing I love about this is if you want to, you're collecting a bike, you can actually put the trailer in the back of your car and actually take the trailer up unassembled in the back of your car and actually assemble it when you actually pick the bike up. There's no need to carry an unladen trailer around behind your car. Just store it in the back of the car and uh, assemble it when needed. So I love the fact you can do that. That's really, really useful. The price of these, well, the single bike, like what I've got set up here, is just under £600. It's, I think it's 595 something like that. The dual bike version is just over £1,000. I think it's 1045 They're all EU certified, so they're all fully certified um, in Europe and obviously the UK. Motorlug will also ship these globally. So if you're in the States and you want one of these, it is possible to, uh, to get hold of one. So there we are, the Motolug trailer. I absolutely love this thing. If you want more information, um, go to the Motolug website, motolug.com. I'll pop a link in the description and a link on the video there. But if you are considering a trailer, I know this is a little bit more expensive than just buying a conventional pre-assembled trailer, but this really does make a great deal of sense when you think about what you can actually do with it, because uh, you know what happens to trailers. Unless you've got acres of space to keep a trailer under cover, it's just going to go rusty. So I'm absolutely in love with this thing. 
and I am going to go out now for a bit of fun. Thank you Motorlug. <laughs> I'm going to go and do a little bit of uh, sheet worrying now. Time for some fun. <laughs> <laughs> 